Well, hey, 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 what is going on, everybody? And so, welcome. Uh, so, today I'll be throwing out another PS3 tutorial for you guys. Uh, this time I'll be going over PS1 games and how you can uh, convert them over into an installable package file. That way, you can uh, install them on your PS3 hard drive. And so, this will work on jailbroken uh, PS3s running custom firmware and also hand PS3s. Okay? So, Without further ado, guys, let's jump over to the computer here and get started and uh, waste no more time. And yeah, let's do this thing. All right. Okay, guys, uh, so here we are. We're at the computer now. And so um, I'm just going to try to go over this as quick as possible, guys. I do not want this to be drug out too long. Uh, there's quite a few things I need to go over, so let's just dive right into it right now. Waste no more time. And so the first thing, two things actually you need to do is, of course, download your files, right? And also, you need to have a game downloaded also. Uh, what I have here is Harmful Park. Uh, it's a PS1 shmup. Uh, if you guys haven't checked this game out, you, I really highly recommend you do so because it's, it's a really, really cool game. Um, so let's move on over to our web browser. I'll show you where you're gonna download that file from. And so uh, I got all the files uploaded to a mega site. Uh, they're not that big. It's only like 28 megabytes. So I just come over here, hit the download tab guys, download it and you are good. All right, so once you do that and extract it, we'll have this folder right here guys. So what we're going to do now, the first thing we're going to do is go into our PSX Classic Eboot Programs folder. Now, I do have this folder twice. I kind of messed up. So we're going to go into the PSX Classic Eboot Programs folder again. <laughs> and uh, what I have here is four programs, guys. Uh, you can choose whatever one you want. Um, this is the one that I tried to use at first and it just with using it with my computer guy my computer is kind of slow so it's really messing up I think this is probably the best one to use I think um, but yeah it just it just kept messing up on me um, now if you guys have a PS1 game that has maybe two discs three discs or maybe even four discs go with Impaler guys Go with Impaler and I'll show you right now what it looks like. You can put up up to five discs on this thing right here. Okay, five discs. And you even have uh, the options down here to actually customize your eBoot if you want. So pretty cool program there. But the one that I'm going with guys is Ice-T. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, open it up. <clears throat> All right. This is one that seems to be working the best for me at the moment. All right, so we need to find our game. We're going over here and select, and we're going to direct this uh, program to my uh, game, the PSX image. So let's do that real quick. And we need to go up to desktop. Harmful part, and we need to select the bin file here. Uh, now this works with bin files, ISO files. That's the only two that I know of that it works with. So be mindful of that. Uh, another thing, guys, uh, make sure that well any program that you use, make sure the compression is down to zero. You don't want it up here or nothing like that. You want it all the way down to zero. All right. Right here, game ID. Mine is the SLPS uh, 004 uh, Okay. The only thing about this program is you got to fill everything in. Uh, that other program that I was talking about, this one here, that will fill everything out for you. You don't have to worry about it. So. I'm gonna name this Harmful Park. And we need to create a directory, which is gonna be inside this folder right here. Okay. 
so that's where we're going to direct it to right here I'll click save okay now we need to go up to expert because I like to customize my eBoots guys um, even on the PSP so I'm gonna go here to expert and as you can see I got a couple of uh, pictures here and I've got also a sound file here um, I will in the description below guys I'll direct you to one of my other tutorials on how to create this AT3 file uh, using gold wave alright uh, my pictures here uh, they're sized uh, this one here this is the thumbnail this is sized at 32176 and this this background picture is 1920 by 1080 all right and they have to be PNG files and also in the description below guys there's a website and I'm finna show you that right now I hate to be jumping everywhere but uh, anyway this is your w website that you probably want to use uh, if you have a program that would do this that's fine but some people don't um, so come here you can upload your files and you can download them as uh, PNG files okay and all I did guys I just googled some of my pictures uh, this is where I got my pictures from for my game I just googled them all right so let's start here at the top uh, we need to find pick one this is the background picture load it up here um, our icon picture or thumbnail picture loaded up there and our sound file right here it's gonna be in our AT3 file loaded up there all right so that's that guys and what we're going to do now we're going to come down here and hit the let's go option okay has been six successfully created which is right there we can uh, let's just leave this out guys because we're gonna need this well yeah let's just leave it open because we're gonna need to copy this game ID here here in a second all right so let's let's cut our our eboot and we're gonna go into our folder here and we're gonna paste it all right so now what we're going to do guys is we're going to take this eboot and we're going to hover it over the fix eboot pvp extension and drop it and what it's going to do is going to create two files guys it's going to create an iso.bin.dat and an iso.bin.edat all right and what we're going to do guys we got to wait on okay this file and these two files to disappear once they do you're good to go into the next steps okay so there they go they disappeared what they did they, they they got I guess how would you say it incorporated into these files here all right so what we want to do now is we want to if you're going to customize your uh, your eboot or your game then you need to add all your files so we're going to highlight this one this one and the sound file and we're going to copy them over guys and we're going to a package right here and we're just going to paste them and we need to replace those two pictures there all right okay now what we're going to do is we're going to cut this right here and we're going to go into true ancestor go into game we're going to paste it right in there guys and what you need to do this is where you need to copy your uh, your game ID just rename it and mine is SLP SLPS and then 498 okay so there we go we can back out of this guys now we're going to open up our repacker right here and now what we're going to do we're going to choose number two custom pack package number 
two and hit re, uh, enter. And now we're gonna come down here to number five, PS1 Classic. Hit enter. And now we need to choose our game right here. This is in that game folder. So we hit number one, enter. And right here, we have to copy this right here, guys, to the second line right here. So what I would do is just highlight it and hit Control C to copy it, and then hit your right button on your mouse to paste it, and then just hit Enter. So just let it do its thing, guys. I think I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna skip over this part. It's gonna take a minute or two, guys. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, guys. So now it's done. We're gonna hit Enter to uh, basically exit out of here. Okay. So now we can go over here to Package, and there's our our package file right there. What we can do, guys, we can just from here, we can just rename it to uh, Harmful Park. All right. Okay. Now, this part, guys. Um, if you're running custom firmware on your PS3 like I am, this next step is not necessary at all. Okay. You can just take this package file and you can actually just... Uh, paste it onto your USB hard drive or USB stick or whatever like that and install it on your PS3. Now for your hand users, okay, you have to go in here, okay, and you have to paste that file in here. You have to paste it right in here and then what you would have to do, uh, make sure you have your act act.dat file in here and also your idps.hex file in here now uh, let me explain what these are uh, where I got this from uh, once I use the react PSN to uh, what do you call it uh, to activate my games um, to create a license it you know using rap files in other words right uh, so here's my X data folder here that I got my PS3. Here's all my uh, RIF files right here. Okay, this is where I got my act.dat from. Okay. As for your idps.hex, a uh, little more trickier, guys. Uh, if you have PSN patch on your uh, PS3, this is what you're gonna do. Just just boot up into that, guys. And once you boot up in it, this will show up. Right here, this is your IDPS. If you look right here, this is this top line, actually the second line too. This is your IDPS, all right? What you wanna do is copy this number down. Okay, copy this number down. Once you do that, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna install the HD portable setup. This is the hex editor right here. All right, you gotta install it. Mine's already installed. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to use it. Very simple. This this step anyway is very simple. It's not like the PS2. Uh, but uh, what you're gonna do guys is go up here to file and go to new. This right here will pop up. And I got a, I got an example IDPS right here, guys, right here. And so what would you, what you would do is just copy your IDPS, and you would just paste insert, just like that right there, okay. And then what you would do, go to file, you go to save as, okay. What you want to do is save it as a IDPS dot hex. Okay, just choose wherever you want to save it to and save it. Okay, and that's all you do there. 
All right, so that's that. So what I'm gonna do now, I don't have to do that, but what you would have to do now is just take this folder and drop it over this extension right here and let it do its thing and it will sign it, okay? I, 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 don't, I can't do that. Uh, I've tried it before and all it says is, you know, it said something crazy, uh, but anyway, it wouldn't work with mine. So, what we're going to do, I'm going to cut it, guys. Um, I'm going to paste it right in here. And I'll meet you guys over to the PS3. And uh, we'll get installing this thing and I'll show you how it works, okay? Alrighty. See y'all guys in a minute. Okay guys, so here we are on the PS3. Uh, now I'm gonna scroll on over to our game icon here. And we're gonna scroll up to Package Manager. Okay, so we're gonna go into that and then we're gonna click on Install Package Files. And then we're gonna scroll down to Standard. We're gonna go into that and there's our game. So I'm gonna hit the X button to install it. And I'm going to skip over this part, guys. It may take a minute or two. And so I'll see y'all in a second. Okay, guys. So it's just about done here. And there we go. It is installed. So we're going to back out of this. And now we're going to scroll down to my PS1 folder right here. And I'm going to mosey on up to Harmful Park. And there it is, guys. Uh, there's my music, my background music. Sounds really cool. Yeah, I like that. That's, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's just jump right into it, guys, and uh, I'll let you see that it work actually works. Okay, here we are. Okay, let's get this thing started and I'll show you that it actually has, it actually has in-game music, everything. So yeah, that is it guys, it does work. So I hope this, this video actually helped you guys out. Uh, I'm only gonna do, I'm gonna do a lot of my shmups like this. Um, that way, you know, I'm gonna throw that folder. Click on them and that's it. Uh, I have to go to another folder and go to that folder and a lot of that, but. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do all my shmups like this. All, all the ones that I love anyway. So that is it guys. Um, I'm glad you tuned in and I hope it helped you out. That's all I can say. And uh, I'll leave you guys at that. And I am signing out guys. I'll see you guys later. Maybe on another tutorial or let's play or whatever like that guys. And uh, yeah, have a good one guys. See ya. Okay.